Hey, what's going on out there? It's Sean Devine, and today I have a quick tutorial for the Logic Pro X users. And this one is using the uh, plugin manager to organize your plugins and create custom uh, categories. So in the menus, whether it's your audio effects, if you notice when I pull mine up, I have uh, custom menus and organization for like compressors, EQ, deessers, on down transients, you can do anything you want and put them in these folders. So it's easier to find your plugins. If you have a lot of plugins, this is a really good tool to use, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, have a better view uh, or overview of all the plugins that you have at your disposal. Um, now, if you were to open this just stock, you wouldn't see any of this stuff. It would be the, uh, the Logic uh, pl stock plugins. And then you go down here to audio units to choose uh, all of your third-party plugins. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And also you can do it with instruments as well. So if you see when I open mine up, I have all of the instruments that I use most often here. And then uh, again, your effects down here. And then if you want to go into the rest of your plugins, you can. But uh, this is just a really good tool for, uh, again, just having better organization of your plugins. So <clears throat> if you want to use this tool, all you need to do is go up here to the Logic Pro X menu. Go to Preferences, click on Plugin Manager. Now this window is going to open up and you'll see over here I have all of my custom categories. And what I did was um, I actually deleted all of the stock you know, Logic instruments that would pop up here. And then I just have uh, my organization of the plugins in this way. So let's say we want to create <clears throat> a custom folder or category here all i need to do is click this plus button and let's say we wanted to do channel strips all right so i wanted to put all of my favorite like channel strip plugins so you can move it wherever you want and order it in the menu as you wish um, but once i select that we'll go to uh, show all and let's just say i want to pull up the ssl channel strip all i need to do is click hold that and drag it over to channel strips um, let's say I want the G channel as well. And then let's say I want the ultra channel from Eventide. I could just drag that over. Now I'm going to close this window and I'm going to have to, uh, I think it's going to reinitialize core audio. Yeah, this might take a minute because this session's a little bit large, um, but just give it just a second. Yep. Still rolling. Should be coming up any minute now. Happy Friday, by the way. All right. Uh, okay. So now that this is pulled up, what we can do is if I go to my EQ, or not my EQ, if I go to my audio effects, boom, it will show up in my menus organized that way. So there's my channel strips. All of the ones that I wanted in that section in the menu are there. And uh, again, we could do this also with our instruments. So if I go in there and I go to plugin manager, and let's just say I want to do one where we do like drum machines. So all of my favorite drum machines I'll put in here. We just move that up and then we go to show all. Let's say I want to put nerve and battery in here. So we'll put nerve. And we'll do battery and let's do this one more time and this is just really useful also i i have a mastering uh folder so any of the eqs and compressors or uh, bus uh, limiting anything like that uh, multi-band compressors i put them in the mastering folder so that when i uh, go to do mastering i can see all the options i have rather than in my head going oh well you know this eq might work or this is the first one that comes to mind. Let me just pull that up. Instead, I can see everything in the menu under master limiters or whatever. So I know my choices. This is really useful. Um, but again, if we go up and we want to uh, open up those drum machines, there you go. It's right in the top of the menu. And it's all there. So again, hope this helps. And uh, it, it really helps me out a lot in terms of just organizing plugins. And even if you don't have a lot of plugins, you can do this just with the stock logic plugins and it's really useful and it will just speed up your workflow when you're reaching for your various uh, plugins and sounds and flavors 
on your channels and uh, instruments. So anyways, hope uh, you all get some use out of this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Talk to you soon.